Well, coming on guys, but it's day two with Tour Adventure. We did the trail box yesterday with Tour Trail. Today, me, Wombard and Lyndon are heading up to Rhonda, where we've got some fantastic roads. We're staying overnight in Rhonda, just for a little explore really. And uh, we've got the two GSs, we've got the standard 1200, we've got two of the 1250 HPs, which I do like that bike. <laughs> for a GS, I like that bike. So we're gonna be swapping between the bikes. It's the first time Womble's ever ridden a GS, this will be interesting. So it'll be a first hand. How does the HP compare to the standard 1200? Here they are. You ready guys? You ready to do it? Yeah, let's, let's hit it. The plan is to head to Rhonda. We've got some routes sorted out. I think it's going to be a little bit of off-road on these as well to test out half hours worth of off-road. We did the tour trail yesterday. We're off-road demons now. The bikes have got a, a 60-40 off-roady road tyre on, so we're not going to be able to do any heroics on the roads with these, but Lyndon says they are particularly good on the road and good off-road. They're called the Held Hell Goodoos. I don't know. What does so GS stand for? What's it stand for? Godspeed. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh god, it's big to get on my oh No, I'm not doing that. Not again, I don't tip it over. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the weather though, man. We were out yesterday on the trails. Fantastic trails around here off-road. And today I think the roads are even better than the trails. I've not been to Rhonda before. TMF keeps going on about Rhonda. The Rhonda Road, the Rhonda Road. Let's check it out. But we've got an overnight in Rhonda, haven't we? So <laughs> it, could, it could get a bit messy tonight. If I start getting too carried away, just remind me that I've got <laughs> off-roady tyres on. You say that every time and then you'll do something all Whoa, English. Oh, Jesus. Bloody goes this. It really control coming then. The front tried to come up. Two seconds earlier. Where my meat's got, I don't give it too much. Where are we heading to? We're driving on the MA330. I should have put my phone on, I could have tracked the route and do a Bruce. This is the MA330. <laughs> that's alright Bruce, that's, that's a terrible impression. I always thought he was Scottish, but never mind. This old Spanish lady, look. Do her legs meet at the top? <laughs> Twisties for one kilometre, that's what we like to see. I'm going to see if I can touch the ground as we go around one of those left-handers. Linden's going for the hang-off. For the knee down. Ice cream, man. That's a lovely stretch of road, Lyndon, isn't it? Oh, it's just... Beautiful. These tyres are amazing. They are pretty amazing, aren't they? Fucking hell for 60 off-road 40, aren't they? Unbelievable. First impressions, Dave. I like it. I really do like it. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it does everything you need it to do, doesn't it? So talky. It's, it, it just makes everything easy. Yeah, it is effort, <laughs> it's effortless to ride, isn't it? They are so effortless to ride. It's like a cheap bike. Yeah. <laughs> for, 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 for your only bike that can do everything, even off-road, you know, it's amazing really. It is. I'm sorely tempted now, I don't know how mad you're feeling, to go up and go around the mountain off-road and it's, it's only a normal trail. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> He's got his comfortable boots on now, so he can't complain. Get them, the emergency boots. <laughs> Excuse boots. Yeah. Uh, it's up to you guys, or we can go. Uh, I'm kind of thinking we'll go and have lunch at the uh, at the lakes. Oh, wow, okay, Ooh, sounds so, good. Um, I'm just changing the plan in my head. Yeah, yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah. Um, but it's up to you. Yeah. The road this way, but it's really, really nice, like that one. Like I do fancy a bit of tarmac. Well, I don't want to do a little okay, bit of off-road, right. but... All right, no, we'll, we'll, go yeah, yeah. we'll go to the lakes and we'll have a thing. Yeah. yeah. It'd be nice to do a little bit of off-road at some point, definitely. Yeah. But I'm just enjoying those twisty roads at the moment. Bloody lovely. <laughs> <laughs> do it like I was made for a GS. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Got the belly for it, haven't I? 
But you're a big, tall bloke as well, aren't you? So, oh, trying to be polite. <laughs> <laughs> chuck one in my pouch, mate, if you want. Chuck one in the old backpack. Do you want some? Stick it, in the, stick it in the middle if you can. Or put a side one here. No, put it aside one actually, yeah, oh. put it aside. <laughs> one in that size. I don't want both of them. What? I don't want both of them. I can't carry put it. Put it in the back I? of Lyndon, it's got nothing in the back of his pouch, put it in there. It's got nothing in it, it's empty. Oh, is he? Yeah. It's a f it. little bottle. I don't know, it's just a lot of weight, you know, I don't want to carry extra weight about it. I've got to be free on the bike, you know, I've got to move left and right. I might I might have a bit, to be fair. No, you all want something like that, and you're not having any. Oh, if you're going to stop and get your gloves off, I might as well as well. Then. Get my hat again then. No. <laughs> you've, up, you've upset me now. Are we ready now? Could have used the road. Oh, God, to die for. Hopefully not literally. Because you will if you go over the edge. <laughs> Look at this road, man. This is, this is... The snake, they call this the snake. I think that's an American road, isn't it? This is the Spanish equivalent, the Cobra. This is a bit of road enough, isn't it, eh? It is, isn't it? Look at this. Look at the view right to the left, mate, look at that. Look at that, this is the A366. Definitely one to come and see. Put it in your sat navs. So with, with the with the road tires on you can give it a bit more than this. You're scratching the engine casings on the ground with the, <laughs> with the road tires on. Incredible bit of road, isn't it? A lovely road. And the clothes. You are close, you are close. Oh, needed to do a bit more then. Oh, that's a tight dig. Oh, I didn't realise I was going. <laughs> oh, look at the view as well. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? The Cobra, mate. The Cobra. What a road. There's a car coming up there. I spotted. Right, it's clear now. Clear, mate, if you want to do it, now it coming. Is it doing right hold left? Clear as a whistle. Nothing coming still. You through? Yeah. <laughs> this is what it's about. Twisty, twisty, twisty. This beats a 272 to... It's a pet worth, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> right? oh, Even just to have this one road in the in, in oh, right, rideable one, distance man. from home would be amazing, wouldn't it? There's just not a road like this anywhere <laughs> where, where yeah. we live anyway. This is just one of many here. Look at that view up ahead. Oh. Oh. Bloody beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Seven. This 
road just goes on and on and on, doesn't it? It's unbelievable. The A366. What a road. Whoa! Into El Burgo. El Ooh. El Amigo. A little bit tingly in your hands these aren't they? Oh, do you know, I thought it was me, I didn't know if it was from yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I've, got, I've got a few tingles. A little bit of, a little bit of vibes through the bars, isn't there, with them? Yeah, I've not got it on my left, I've got it on the front one. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Maybe we'll hold it on too tight. <laughs> There's a few slight tingles there. Spanish coffee is rather toasty. So we're just, what, what's this town called, Linden? Where are we now? El Burgo. El Burgo. <laughs> <laughs> you had to think then, didn't you? Put me on the spot. El Burgo. There we go, sorry. Bit, a bit of coffee in El Burgo. Coffee? Uh, what, white coffee? No? No. Avería de agua en el pueblo. Avería de agua en el pueblo no. No coffee. No coffee. No coffee. No coffee. No coffee. Uh, no coffee. No. Right, that's it. Little drop of refreshment. And then we're on our way to the lakes apparently. Lakes for lunch. Sounds rather splendid. Oh dear, the, oh dear, the clutch is well out on this one, isn't it? Oh, yeah, God. I, that's what I mean. The, the clutch, clutch is like right at the end of its travel, isn't it? Yeah. I see what you mean. So this is the 1200 now. So I thought I'd get off, because last time I rode the 1250, it was brand spanking new, it had like a thousand miles on it. And it felt a lot better than the 1200, because I was comparing it to a bike with 30k on the clock. So now both the bikes are, I think that's got 15,000 on it now. This has got, I don't know, probably quite a lot of miles, I don't know, 46,000 miles. So now the bikes are a bit more used, let's see the difference now. How does that feel to you after just coming off this one so far, initial impressions? Does it feel a bit more punchy or? It just feels a different bike. Feels a different bike, yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm over this one at the moment, it feels it's a, a bit less grunt. Smoother, engine's a lot smoother, I think. Mean. We'll catch over you now, bloody hell. Yeah, it's not got the guts. The brakes don't feel quite as sharp either. But I don't think there is quite as much difference as there was originally. Suspension's better on this. Suspension's better, isn't it? Just looking at the mirrors and all I can see is me. <laughs> That's how you like it. Yeah, straight away I, I want this one now. <laughs> Shut me back in a minute. Uh, <laughs> look at that up ahead, look. Now that's got to be straight out of the cowboy tour, isn't it? I mean, look at the mountains up there. The Wild West. Well, we'll have to do that. There's a three day tour to, they called the cowboy tour. And we're hoping we might be able to get it on it this time, but we didn't really give them enough notice, did we? I didn't realise it's three days away, so there's a couple of different hotels. You travel out into the desert region, and it's where they filmed all the spaghetti westerns, so the good, the bad, and the ugly, a lot of the classic <laughs> Wild West movies. And they've still got all the saloons and all of that air, all there, so you can really relive your Wild West adventures. I, I want to do that at some point. That would be such a laugh, the good, the bad. We could have done it with the three of us, couldn't we? The good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. I would, of course, be the good. good. It's just between you and Linda, it would have been the ugly, really, isn't it? With that <laughs> nose, <laughs> I've got that wrapped up. A couple of bananas as guns, mate. Close ups of the eyes, squinting. Bring our ponchos next time and some uh, <laughs> cowboy hats, and we'll be off. What a beautiful ride. Incredible, isn't it? Just pulled over. Little photo opportunity. Look at that behind yeah. us. Sorry. Look at that. <laughs> Incredible. Deserted. Beautiful. Loving it. What do you reckon? Mr. W. Absolutely beautiful. It's good, isn't it, eh? Look out there, man. Well, look out there. Off-road. Up to the mountains. Look at that there. Look at that. Incredible. Look at that. 
I know what the GS stands for on this one. What? Good shit. Look at that up there though. One more time. Look at that. That now sending me there. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. What's what? Sat nav saying go down there. Give it a whirl. Enduro, <laughs> enduro. Go enduro, enduro. One ball. So just ride it like you did the uh, dirt bike yesterday. So, same thing, isn't it? Really? Oh dear, here goes the end of the, end of the time, mate. mate. <laughs> time to stand up. Bring back those skills from yesterday. You alright? Yeah, I suppose. Hang on, which way do Linden go here? This is quite steep. Oh, Jesus Christ, Linden, this is a bit f***ing steep here, isn't it? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Just let it go, momentum and all that. You alright? <laughs> Looks quite steep, but just remember what you were doing yesterday. Nothing compared to that. I see, if we hadn't have done that off road day yesterday, there's probably no way we'd have let us do this on these. That's a fair old drop, though, isn't it? Don't look! So I've only got 15 kilometres of this. Do you joking? <laughs> I don't know, that's what he said. It may not all be dirt, though. <laughs> Moroccan adventure! Remember how to turn now, because it's even it's on the bigger bikes, it's even more important, you know what I mean? Because it takes more to turn them. You shit at yourself, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> You've got very quiet. <laughs> this is the beauty of these bikes, isn't it? Even imagine doing this on the uh, Tuono. Oh no. Actually, what we learned yesterday just makes sense now. Just that whole turning thing. A lot more comfortable standing up. Much more comfortable standing up than the, than the enduros, isn't it? You can really lock your legs out. This is higher, the bars are higher on this than what they were on that enduro yesterday, I fancy. He's gone all quiet because he's scared. <laughs> I'm a scared he can. <laughs> Not for Bruce, this is it? Fancy a bit of this, Bruce? A bit of this, mate? You would love it. This is why this really is why these are so good, isn't it? Because one minute you're you're bombing around the corners, the next minute you're, <laughs> you're doing this. I'm doing this now. Off-roading on GSs in Spain. I feel like I feel like Charlie Boring. <laughs> Yee -hoo. Look at that. That is why I don't like to plan things. Yeah, <laughs> that is incredible. Oh, well, is that the lake where we're headed to down there? I won't come on the GoPro, just down there, there's a little lake. Oh, it's just so easy to ride off road because you know, just after yesterday, I'm just so confident on this now. It's just, yeah, it just turns. It's, it's you don't even know you're on the GS, it's just like what we were doing yesterday. I'm ready for Morocco, I'm ready, ready for Morocco. You've got to do this, Bruce. You've got to come. I think it's a perfect little combo we've done. A day of off-road just to learn how to do it properly. Yeah, time out of concrete now. And then, uh, oh, that's a little, bit, a little bit of concrete. And then you're perfectly set up to do whatever you need to be able to do on these. This is the life, mate, eh? I'm enjoying this, actually. Makes a change from just playing around on the tarmac. I mean, look at look at the view. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's just nice to you know, because if you bought one of these, you're not going to risk taking it off road yourself, are you? Which is a shame, because it's such a capable bike off road. But you know, if you don't want to take your own off road, come here. <laughs> take Linden's off road instead. And I think once you've taken oh. it, away, oh. what happened there? Watch yourself. Lost, lost Watch the yourself. front. Did you? Front brake? Did the front go under braking or? No, I wasn't braking, it just lost. Just went. That's alright, that's what happens, isn't it? Turn around. Look at the view. Look at that. Yee hoo! 
I've done him, I've done him! You've, you've come a cropper. I left you behind, sir. Yeah, you've made a gap. Made a gap. Is that, is, is that what they call it these days? Made, you've made a gap. It's just a pleasure not to fall off. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? I, I do feel Bruce's pain. But if I can do it, I'm sure he can. Yeah, he's been around the world, for the sake. Get him on the motocross first. <laughs> <laughs> But look at that, man. There's the lakes up ahead, look, you see them, lakes. Nice, heading to a night, yeah. Nice little lake, nice little restaurant on the lake now. We've earned it, we've earned it now. Oh, time for some lunch. What's this place called, Dunlin? This is the Lakes of Tardalis. Lakes of Tardalis. Look at the view out there. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. People swimming down there. I'm tempted to take a dip myself. A bit skinny dipping. Well, that was pretty off-roading down there. It was uh... quite partial to a small prawns with the camera. <laughs> well, cheers, everybody. Cheers. What a morning's riding. Yeah, good fellow. Beautiful. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? That's a, that's a seafood paella for you. What's that one in there? What you got there? Goat's cheese salad Ooh. with fresh fruits. I guess I have forgotten your name already. Martin. Martin. We've met Martin, one of Linda's mates. He's joining us for the afternoon as we meander our way to Rhonda. So we just had a look at the old fashioned uh, sat nav, the old paper sat nav. And I think Lynn has got an idea of a good route to take us. But I can't get enough of this view here. Not, not, not you, this view. <laughs> Is it what? <laughs> I've probably a bit of both now, Lynn. <laughs> Your favourite. Oh wow, look at that. Down there, mate, that make you go dizzy. Oh, I see you push the beds together. Look at the view out of here. Talking about him, I'm talking about that there, look at it. 